Would you like to know the kind of results and value that data teams are creating in 2020? In this video, I'm going to share the results of my survey covering my book, Data Teams, and that's the sorts of questions we're going to answer. If you'd like to take a look at this survey, go ahead and click on that link. It is tiny.datateams.io forward slash survey 2020. There you can get even more information and see the charts themselves. Let's start by talking about what the survey was trying to do. The survey was trying to answer three main questions. How are data teams being run? What value are they creating? And was there any effect whatsoever from COVID on these data teams? Let's start out by talking about the survey itself. This survey ran for a few months in 2020, and we had a total of 86 respondents. 67% of those people that responded to the survey were in management, and there was a wide variety of sizes of company that were represented there. Of these, 59.3% said that they were in production or further along than production, while 40% were in some phase of pre-production. So let's talk about the data teams themselves. The first question that we asked was, do you actually have these teams present? And as we can see in this chart, there are lots of different teams. There are lots of different numbers. In this case, data science and data engineering were there in the mid 70s and operations was there at 54.9%. Well, we do have some ways to go on operations, it looks like. But one of the important questions that we need to answer is, yes, you can say you have a data science team. Yes, you can say you have a data engineering team, but does it actually make that definition? That's the next question that we ask. Does your team match this definition? So 69% of people said that their data scientist met the definition of a person with a mathematical background who was applying that to creating models and advanced analytics and had, a, had learned how to program. Then we have 83% of people said that their data engineers met that definition of a data engineer being a software engineer who has specialized their skills in big data. And once again, operations engineers were lagging behind there at 42%, where they were saying that their, their definition of an operations engineer didn't meet that one. And our definition of an operations engineer was a person who has an operational background who has specialized in big data. Now let's talk about what success that they created. And in, to get this data, well, I asked for two questions, and let's start with the first of those questions. The first one we asked was, what was the respondent's view of their own success? How did they view the amount of success that they were generating? And we can see in this graph that there are one to five, five being a very high amount of value, one being a low amount of value. And as we can see from this chart, definitely most respondents gave themselves a three and a four. Now, to really understand the value being created, I asked the question, what value would the business say that you're creating? Once again, a one being a very low amount, five being a much higher amount. And as we can see, the respondents said that they were generating between three and four within this, but the vast majority saying, yes, we generated a decent amount of business value according to the business. Now, what we're going to do in this next chart is actually merge those two. We're going to say, what value did you create and how many of those teams did you have? Did you meet those definitions of the teams? And that's what we can see here. We can see this success being broken down by the number of teams they have. So to help you understand this, I color coded it. So in this case, green, as we can see there, was three teams and blue, there's three different shades of blue there. Those were teams made up of, of two different teams out of the three. And then red, those shades of red being, here we have these teams that are only made up of one team. And then we can see black, black was no teams. They reported, they didn't report having any of those data teams in place. So let's talk about what we see. Well, we can see that looking there at the chart, we can see, hey, there is a significant amount of value being created there. But the highest amount of value, as we can see there, is the teams of three. The teams of three were consistently the most successful, as we can see there. Then we can take a look at the teams of two. We can see the teams of two, when those teams of two are there, we see 
is data engineering, data science, they can create a decent amount of value, as well as, oddly enough, data engineering operations gave some success as well. But definitely what we're looking for is data engineering and data science for those teams of two. Then, as we see there in the middle, the ones generating probably average amounts of value, probably lower amounts of value, quite honestly, are those teams made up of two, one different team or no teams. As we can see, those are much more on the left, generating less value. The teams of two and three on the right, generating significantly more amounts of value. So my recommendation looking at this data, take a look at your own team, make sure that you actually have all three data teams so that you can start generating that significant amount of value and that they are skilled correctly. Double check your definitions to make sure that they are the right ones. From here, we asked a question about COVID. Had COVID really affected the data teams? So we asked this question, have they actually had to pivot? Well, as we can see, the teams are remaining productive. The teams were saying, that was a different question that I'm not showing here. Is, yes, the teams came back and said, COVID-19 has not made us less productive in general. Some, a few people said yes, but it was predominantly people were staying the same or improving. However, as we can see in this chart, some teams are actually pivoting their strategy. As we can see, some are somewhat or partially, as well as some are yes. However, we see that 57% are saying no. Well, what we may want to do, and my recommendation to you, is to verify your data strategy. Is your data strategy still working? Are you still doing the right things? Do you need to adjust this? Take that step back, take a look, and adjust if you do need to. So with that, I invite you to take a look at my latest book, Data Teams. That was the book that we were using as part of the data for this, to collect that data and get this in survey information. If you'd like to see what these teams are, how they're supposed to work together, I invite you to read my book, Data Teams. And in order to do that, you can go to datateams.io and get more information about the book itself and get the link to the survey if you so desire. With that, I wish you the best of luck as you work in your data teams and create that value.